boys are still upstairs in their pajamas. They have been reading and playing and they just turned on an amazing TV show. So since they're getting along, I said they could finish their show before they came down. I've got to get worksheets out for Jax and probably won't put one out for Sebastian because he's got some coloring he's doing. He wanted me to help him set up rainbow stripes. He did the mouth and nose on his own. How good is that? But yeah, I just made a little guide so he knows where how to color. And I did the, the red you see right there. So he did the other. So he's gonna have that to color in. He also is working on a rocket ship that he had me draw. He's done 100% of the coloring on this. Look how good that is. I love the fire. Like he just completely thinks of that on his own. Like when he's coloring his school worksheets, he often just mixes the colors in this beautiful collage. He has been having so much fun with these train tracks and mixing in Duplos that I've been leaving it out for a while. It's kind of how the Lego table always looks every now and then I have to try to clean it up. And then he gets excited that he has more space to fill. Uh, I think we are trying, excuse me, my face is really dry right there. I think we're trying to get pumpkins today and we always would go to this one farm it's really great, huge property with orchards and there's like playgrounds everywhere. You can just walk for hours and stop at all these playgrounds. And it just completely transforms in the fall. We hadn't gone there until like two years ago. We went. It's really expensive. Luckily, Sebastian, who had just turned two, he was able to pass for under two. He had his bobby in and I held him and he's so tiny that they didn't even bat an eye so we didn't have to pay $20 for him to go in. But it was amazing and if you look back at I think vlog number one, that I think that one has the fall festival in it. But yeah, that's all closed. We really like the people who run Cox Farm. I believe the line with ours in that Love is love and COVID is real. We need to be safe. So can't even go walk around and play socially distance on the playgrounds and I'm cool with that. They don't wanna be liable for that, I'm sure. And too many people in this world are not being safe and following the rules. My kids know that if there's kids on the playground, we're not gonna go unless the playground has sections and they st they're staying on one section. And then my kids have to wear masks. And even if nobody's on it, they need to use sanitizer before and after. And if I don't have sanitizer, they can't go. So not everybody has those rules. They have all the playgrounds closed. None of the big slides and bounce houses and hay mazes, nothing. You can't go in their store. What you're gonna do is drive up to a little market area. I'll put a picture here of how you choose your pumpkins and I believe you get your apple cider donuts and your apple butter the same way. It's a little weird. I won't have much to film for you. <laughs> and I believe there is a hayride but you just drive yourself in your car through where the hayride would have gone. No way you can get me on a hayride with strangers right now. So, yeah. COVID has made this world really interesting. Yeah. Let's go make breakfast.
Hello everyone, I'm sorry it's dark. It's kind of gloomy today. <clears throat> when we went on our walk to the grocery store, it was drizzling on us and it said there was zero, zero chance of rain and it was misting actively on us. Anyway, we went to the store and I sent my husband pictures of the meat and he was like, you know what? I actually don't want it because <clears throat> I just had pot roast and I can't think of anything I want right now and I don't have time. Excuse me, I just ate. So we just got what we needed and got out of there. <clears throat> but I had to use their bathroom because blood thinners and that time of the month, yay. Anyway, we came home and I had to work. And I've just been trying and trying to rush through the work and get through it so we could go get pumpkins and stuff. But I only made it halfway and I'm like, Ugh, I need to feed them, it's two o'clock. But <clears throat> Luckily he was cool with that and it was enough and he placed an order to test these products so good to go. Easier timeline on the rest which is a relief. So now we've eaten and my husband placed an order for all the things that we want. We're getting pumpkins and I wanted apple butter because I'm going to make pumpkin bread soon and we're getting cider and apple cider donuts so yum. We got to go pick them all up and I think we get to choose from a row of pumpkins. Yeah, I order online. Oh, okay. So, thank you. exhausted I look. We were about to have a little quiet time after picking up all of our fall goodies when I lay down beside him and look at our Facebook group for the neighborhood and there were Legos from somebody who had so sweetly messaged us and given us Legos before so I asked if any were left if we could pick some up. She offered all of them. Somebody else had commented they were like, oh, can we be a backup? And I was like, we would gladly share them with you. But they ended up saying no thank you. So we have the Legos. Do you have some Legos? Yeah. 
He's so excited. So we're gonna go home and do a little bit more quiet time, but he's gonna have some Legos to play with while he's doing it. Thank you for Lego. Should he dull on a fork? No, 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 no. No, keep trying. Don't really look at me. Look what you're doing. When you're grabbing these, they're going like this. You need to hold it lower. over my day with you. <sighs> it was a little stressful at times and it was a lot of not fun at times, but things are looking up, so that's good. Anyway, I feel like I've gone over a lot of it, so I'll do quick and, and, quick and dirty for the first half. Why are we yelling? Anyway, uh, I gotta do it then. Hey, just start with one and we'll see where we are, okay? Start with one. He's avoiding green boxes. He's gonna be like, he's tired. It's late. He's, did you just say he was gonna be dumb? Yeah. Jackson's only mad because he wants to get paid for reading. Anyway, so we got up and had breakfast and I offered to go into the grocery store real quick because I discovered the one within walking distance is quite empty during weekday mornings. I literally saw maybe five other shoppers and there was no lines like the, the checkout guy was waiting there for somebody to come to the checkout line the entire time we were shopping. And we did not use a shopping cart, I used the stroller. But they had somebody outside at all times with sanitizer and they clean a cart and give it to you. So that's nice. We were in there longer than I wanted because after I sent my husband pictures of the meat department, which he then said, never mind, I don't actually want anything. <laughs> Um, I had a wardrobe malfunction, being a girl, without going into details, I will tell you, it's always been bad for me, but I've been on blood thinners since having Sebastian. It's not fun for a solid 12 hours, or if you're last month, three days, but it looks like it's only doing the 12 hour thing. And yeah, that started last night and it was still going this morning. I was hoping to make this walk in an hour and be okay. Usually I have 40 minutes to an hour, but yeah, it was like 40 minutes, 35 minutes. And I was like, kids, the bathroom's right there. Stand in front of this Hot Wheels display and I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> so that slowed us down a little bit, probably in there 20 minutes not my favorite but we weren't around anybody so 
so it's more my worries about being in enclosed indoor spaces. Luckily, nobody's ever allowed to be without their mask in those cl closed indoor spaces, so there shouldn't be that much germs breathed out. But yeah, we did that. We walked home. I needed to start right into work. We are trying a new print-on-demand service for a client, and we wanted, I think, six t-shirts and six posters as a test run. I did an initial test of one of them, just really basic to see if doing the six were worth my time. So I was trying to do the six, but man, it's, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. It was like a half an hour for each t-shirt and then 15 minutes more for a poster, so 45 minutes times six. It's a lot, I, I just couldn't make it through it. And Sebastian was bored and whiny. Jax was failing a quiz, which it still failed, so I couldn't let him use my computer to retake it. For some reason, his computer will not uncache the dang quizzes. So he's gonna have it on his schedule for tomorrow. Hopefully it will let him take it for a third time. Apparently the liberation of Texas is, is not his forte. I will go over it with him. I just did not have time today. So I made it through two full designs, then made it, started on a third, but it didn't have the information I needed. So I did the fourth one and then Five and six were beer labels by another artist, so I haven't even opened those files. It might take me longer to figure it out. I might need to contact them for for art files. I don't know, but luckily I laid out, I was like, I really, this is what I've gotten done and I might need to do this tonight if you still need it today. But he just went ahead and placed an order for two t-shirts and a poster based on what I'd done on the two that were approved. So he's like, no, this is cool, this is enough. You can have slightly relaxed deadlines on the rest. So I'll be knocking those out over the next couple days whenever I get a moment. So that was a relief because it was 2 p.m. and I needed to feed the kids. So we ate and my husband like immediately while I was cooking messages because we had talked about doing that pumpkin patch. He's like, so what's it looking like? Because he's waiting to hear on my work. And at that point, I was like, I don't know, I need to find out, I'm waiting to hear back. But luckily, I got the message that all was well, so I'm like, cool, we can go. He went ahead and put in an order, a big old $100 order. But we need some fall in our lives, and if you can't just like go and see all the fall stuff and walk through the fall stuff and enjoy the fall stuff and smell it, just put it all in my car and we'll bring it home and enjoy it. So. We got four medium-sized pumpkins. Like there was medium, large, and like jumbo. And they're plenty big for us, we're happy. We only got to choose from six. We just load up the six and if you better hope that those six are some that you want. So we chose four of the six. And then he got two dozen apple cider donuts. One dozen went right in the freezer. And a big jug of apple cider. Oh my gosh, I haven't had any of that yet. I might need to have some tonight. And then I requested a jar of apple butter. I know that's expensive, but I don't have time to make my own this year because we didn't go apple picking. So I'm going to be making my yearly pumpkin bread and it's so good warm with some fresh apple butter. Mm. But we have so many donuts, I might wait few more days at least before doing the pumpkin bread. I don't know, maybe this weekend. And then we also, was that everything? Pumpkin butter donuts. Oh, kettle corn. He got a big bag of kettle corn, which is a big no thank you for me. I've always hated it. My brain explodes from the sweet and the salt at the same time. The only sweet and salty I can do is like if it involves a pretzels, pretzels or peanut butter, usually mixed with like chocolate or yogurt. No, no, no. But I hadn't tried it in so long. I was like, okay, give me a piece. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's it's like bad salty popcorn with sugar on it. <laughs> anyway, I was so happy to get all that fall stuff and briefly see a little bit of the farm as we looped around to find where we needed to go. 
we did not do the $15 hayride because that's $15 and they were probably just happy to be in the car. We came home and my husband hadn't walked Ziggy yet, so they went out on a, a nice long, fast walk and Sebastian and I headed up for quiet time. But as I said, as soon as I laid down, I found out there's Legos in the neighborhood and I went and picked them up. And so we just ended up playing Legos up here instead of doing a, a actual quiet time. And then my husband got back. I was like, what do you want to eat? I really had no clue, but he suggested poke ball, bowls, which I love. I must have poke ball, <laughs> poke bowl, which was so exciting to hear because they took him off DoorDash, but apparently it's on Uber Eats, which is more expensive because of all the fees, but he had a $20 coupon. So we did that, but Sebastian wanted his own poke bowl. So that $20 kind of didn't save us that much because we had three bowls instead of two, but he was so excited to get some tuna. He loves sushi. So yeah, I get tofu. So we ate dinner and then I went down and as you saw, I was sewing a face on a pickup two mask front. I haven't sewn the mask together yet. I'm gonna sew that one together and then have a plain yellow one and we'll just see what he likes best. There is a face on his hood, but it's kind of hard to see, especially if he's at the top of our porch stairs and everybody's at the bottom. You might want the one with the face. You can see the ears easily. And then I came up because Sebastian wanted a shower. He's all clean. He washed his hair. He puts so much dang soap in his hair that it took me forever to rinse it out. And then I felt like it needed some conditioner because, ooh, that was a lot of soap. We are a mostly no poo crew. I rarely wash my roots, only if I bleach my hair do I shampoo my roots. I regularly shampoo the ends because it just gets grimy and this is fake hair. The kids only if it's really grimy, but Sebastian does like to, so because I do it myself kind of thing. Uh, it's just better for your hair to not wash it very much. Let the oil be there. Of course, wash it if it's dirty. But yeah, since his hair's not used to that, I put some conditioner in it. Hopefully that will help. He's got my wispy baby fine and very thin hair. And now it is now. Everybody is fresh and clean. Jackson needs to brush his teeth, but they are reading and Sebastian, I said he could play cars because he just has a poor attention span when his brother's the one reading. Anyway, that is that. Tomorrow, I'm feeling like I can leave the house a little longer. So that's good. I might drive over to a shopping center where there's an, another forest loop in a different neighborhood that has two great playgrounds because I do need a couple more things for Halloween. I think I'm gonna have a table at the bottom of our stairs. So I need like black tablecloths to cover it. And I need a spider for my spider web. I, I tried to order one from Walmart on our grocery order and they said it was out of stock. So, womp womp. Anyway, that is that. I am going to go change to some pajama pants so I can lay down with him and get him to sleep. Good night, everybody. Please stay safe and healthy and don't forget, wash your hands.